Look, how do I have these already? What? I can't have booster packs from this thing yet. Another one? Oh, it must be like stealing or something. Breaking some law to have two booster packs of that already. Oh, I can have one of these already. This is a pre release. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I bought this in my store. Give me these two for free. Find that. Isn't that nice? It's only 27 and some odd cents. For eight packs. That's a deal there. Like, usually they don't give you that many deals. There's a $140 Iconic Masters pack. Me and three of my friends split it. Iconic Masters box. We split it and we got some pretty good stuff. One of uh, the one guy got a Manda Dream. Uh. I got some good stuff. The one person got like nothing. It was terrible. The best card they got was Knives of the Reliquary. Maybe then Lightning Helix. After that, it was bad. Blue again. Wow, a lot of blue. Let's see. Here's a promo. It's a backwards card. We'll look at that later. Who looks at the promo right when they open their pack? Not me. Which way should we go first? We've opened Ixalan before. Let's open some more of it. Just to see... How bad it is, because we know it's not that good. Commons, commons, more commons. Rigging runner. Look, a one drop with first strike, and it's a one one. And goblins are always broken like that. Especially that one drop two two with haste. Remember that? Oh, look, he's right there. <laughs> Steadfast Armasaur. If it'll... Is it, yeah, there he goes. Deathless Ancient. Oh, that would have been a nice pull if I was actually in a sealed event. Well, it looks like we did pretty good. We... And that doesn't pay for it yet. I heard they're gonna ban... Uh, some energy tomorrow? Hope not. That'd be bad. I have an energy deck. Now I just have to hope my other decks increase in value to come up for that value. Deep root wade waterers. Deep root waters. Dark nourishment. Tempest collar. Tillanali skin shifter. Who knows what that is? Why is it not a shapeshifter? It's just a human shaman. That's done. Should be a shapeshifter. Because it shifts shapes. Oh, look. First pack arrival on this channel. Let's see. Oh, look. Commons. Ooh, look, uncommons. Stormfleet Swashbuckler. Charging Tuscadon. Oops. You didn't see that. Aerial Flow. Ooh, look. Brass's Bounty. That seems like it's expensive, but you do get a lot of land. I mean, a lot of treasure tokens. Island. Oh, look. City's Blessing. We win. We got the city's blessing. We can get blessed by the city. See red. Ew. We spell from Orazaka. 
Ooh, we win, Azor. There's a guy at my draft. I mean, at my at my first sealed that I did. His promo was Azor. Promo Azor is like thirty bucks. I think regular one's like fifteen, something like that. My promos have been Itali and um here's a flip card. I got a promo flip card. Hadana's Something. Hadana's walk. Hadana's climb. That's what it was. Mausoleum harpy. Flood of Re recollection. Charging. Tuscadon. Wayward sawtooth. Or wayward sun. Carry on my way. Sun sentinel foiled. Those right there. Look, the reprint. He reprinted that from Ixalan. I don't know why. I do get why well, they reprinted um the Legion Conquistador for draft. Foul or oh gosh, freaking Taplin. Why are they at uncommon? Gosh, I don't like those. Raven oh, the broken card. Ravenous Chupacabra. Silver Gill Adept. I guess it's good because it draws you a card. That's why it costs an extra three. I played a Merfolk deck in my first pre release and I won with it. There are only four of us and I was the only good player, so Oh we win, Blood Sun. We get to keep free people from fetching, and then we don't get to hurt ourselves with shocks. That sounds nice. Hostage Taker, Blood Sun, Azor. I think it's a pretty good box. Jeez. I wouldn't play Az Blood Sun in the thing. I mean, uh, pre release, so that's not good. Forerunner of the Legion. Flood of Recollection. Golden Demise. Oh, really? Every single Pearly's pack of Open got a Captain's Hook in it. Good Lord, I hate this card. So I'll have three of these right now. I almost have a play set. And I'm doing another pre-release again later today. If I get another Captain's Hook in, I'm going to be upset that I have a play set of Captain's Hook. Because I don't like it. Foil Pride of Conquistadors. Man. I thought it was a foil rare. Yay, got a card. Oops. Sky March is Spirant. Into the Unknown. Aerial Flow. Ooh, Polyraptor. There's a broken combo with this. If you. Polyraptor, Aether Flash, and Perforos, you just win. I mean, all you have to do is ping Polyraptor, and then Aether Flow deals two damage to the token that just came in. And that token comes in again and gets pinged again. So you get infinite polyraptors. And each time a polyraptor comes in, Perforo steals two damage to your opponent. Or you could just give all your polyraptors haste or something. And swing in with a bunch of five fives. What do you think it is? Do you think it's Azor? Do you think it's uh, a dinosaur? Do you think it's... Oh yeah, it's already been. Good lord, it's not even been out of the package. Ah, what is this? Dire Fleet Poisoner. Uh, look at that. 
Look, this is terrible. What the heck happened to this card? It's been in a pack. And it's bent to pieces. It's like extremely bent. Let's see if I can bend it back. Uh, not really. It's not even been out of the package yet. There must be a hole in it. In the packaging for air to get in there. It's already done that. Maybe it's just terrible quality. I don't think that's a good one. I don't know. Let's read it. Flash. Death Touch. When Dire Fleet Poisoner in this battlefield target attacking Pyreed Control gets plus one plus one and gains Death Touch until in turn. Ew. I guess if, like, you're attacking and someone tries to block, you just play that. And that pirate that they're trying to block gets death touch. And then their thing dies. Your thing either dies and for sure kills their guy. Or your thing doesn't die. And their thing dies for two reasons. Or something. Oh, you might have killed their wall or something. So we got, I think... Polyraptor's good. Captain took his trash. Blood Sun is good. I don't know about that. Azor's good. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't think that's good. But Hasa Taker's good. So I think we did pretty well with this one. This is pretty nice. I don't know if there's any bomb comments. But... I think the reason they pre-printed Legion Conquistador again is if you're playing, like, if you're in a pre-release and there, you get, like, one Legion Conquistador in Ixalan, you're definitely not going to play it if you just get one in an Ixalan pack. So you put it in the Rivals pack so you can, like, get more of them. Like, if you get, like, one in an Ixalan pack and one and two in the Rivals packs, then... You're probably going to play it more likely if you have vampires. That's why they did that. That makes sense to me. But I don't get why they reprinted Sailor Means again. And, uh... There's something else. Oh, Colossal Dreadmaw. Maybe just for more bombs with Colossal Dreadmaw. Uh... See you next time when I open probably the box. I'm getting a box. And I'll probably get a fat pack too for the channel. This is a pre-release kit for the channel. See you next time.